Welcome back to Mr. Murid's engineering class. Today we are going to be focusing on the last 3D document, the cow catcher for the train project. So we will left double click on our folder, left double click on train, and left click on create document. Make sure our caps lock key is on and it is on and we will type cow catcher C O W. C A T C H E R and I misspelled that R cow catcher create public document. So let's take a look at our cow catcher. <clears throat> I like to describe the cow catcher as a large home plate on the bottom and a small home plate on top. The bottom of our cow catcher is 1.8 inches wide. It extends one inch, in this case it's one inch in the Z axis. The top of the small home plate extends out 0.75 inches or three quarters of an inch and it is 1.20 inches wide. The quarter inch shoulder here is typical for the top home plate and the bottom home plate. So we have typical here and typical there. The small home plate is three quarters of an inch or 0.75 inches offset from the bottom. We will be using the loft command to do that. In the front of the train we have two trapezoidal shapes that are recessed into the cow catcher at 0 0.5 inches typical. We will have a 0 0.10 inch typical wall thickness. We will be using the shell command to shell out or hollow out the entire cow catcher. And then we will finish the cow catcher off by putting on the three pegs that assemble to the front of the train and finish the pegs with a 0 0.01 by 45 degree chamfer to get rid of that sharp edge on the peg. The cow catcher is easily, easiest done in the top plane, so we will start the cow catcher. We will create the bottom home plate first, offset a work plane 0.75 inches, create the small home plate, loft that solid together, and then finish the cow catcher. So let's get started. So we will left click on sketch, left click on sketch plane, left click on the top, our sketch one plane comes up, right click and view normal to sketch plane. So I'm going to go to the line command and create a line from the origin out to the left, type in 0 .900 which is half of 1.8. I'm going to leave my line command on and come to the right and click and type in 1.8 and hit enter. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have two lines there, so I'm going to hit Escape, I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to get rid of the 0.9 line, and that's fine that that's blue. So now I'm going to create a construction line from the origin, and set that there in the center. And now I'm going to create a small solid line to use here in a second, just to have that there. So now we need to create our quarter inch shoulders on the side, 0.25, and hit enter. Yes, it moved, and that's okay. So now we will set another quarter inch line on this side at 0.25, and hit enter. Hit escape. We will create the one inch line, so we will create a construction line from the center to down 1.0 and hit enter. I will hold my wheel down and pan up and we will go back and create a line, a solid line from that point to this point and then create a line from this point 
to that point, and there is my home plate. Now we will move everything from here, the origin, to the center, back to the origin. I am going to hit escape and I am going to window both of those lines and hit delete. I'm going to go to my dimension command and I'm going to dimension from left click and left click and set that at one inch. So the other specification that was given to us is it says that it is 50 degrees here, typical. So let's just check that out. So let's create a line, left click and left click, hit escape, let's go to dimension and left click and left click. So we get a specification of 48.54 and they've rounded that to 50 degrees. So, so we're 1.8 inches, we're 1.25, we've created our triangle. So we will delete that. We don't need that. So I think we have all of our information for our bottom home plate. So we will left click on camera and left click on isometric. So I'm going to leave these planes on, but I am going to zoom in. So we have a one inch depth in Z. We have a 1.8 inch width in X. We have a 0.25 dimension in Z and in Z. I'm going to come back to the top view for a second and I'm going to go to dimension and I'm going to make sure that from there to there is 0.9. Okay, so the 0.9 is what it took to make sure that it was all black and constrained and you do want to check uh, all of your dimensions in Sketch. It is okay to have more dimensions in Sketch than what you need. Oh, I see a mistake. So I'm going to change that to from 0.205 to 0.25 and hit enter. So now we have a quarter inch shoulder on this side, a quarter inch shoulder on this side, 1.8 inches wide, one inch deep, 0.9 inches wide. So now we are correct and we can accept that sketch. We're going to click on camera and render options and go to isometric. So now we need to raise the top plane and we need to raise it up 0.75 inches. So I'm going to right click on the top plane, right click, left click on offset plane. So our arrow is going in the correct direction. Uh, if it's in the wrong direction, you can move it or you can come over here and you can change uh, the direction of the movement of the plane or the geometry or whatever you're doing here in this position. So we are going up, which is correct, and we want to set that work plane at 0.75 and hit enter. So now we have our first work plane, work plane one. So I'm going to right click and new sketch. Right click and view normal to sketch plane. So remember when we used the use command? So let's copy everything from the bottom. So let's copy that and that. And when I move my right mouse, so now I've taken everything from the bottom plane up to the top plane and now we can use that geometry to make us working smarter not harder. So the first thing I'm going to do on the top is <clears throat> I am going to delete that line even though I did bring that up. So I'm going to go to line and I'm going to click at the origin 
and come over and click and type in point six. Leave my dangle on and type in 1.2, hit enter, and click and point two five, enter. And before I put this quarter inch line on, I am going to delete that one line. So I still have my line out here at 1.2, go to line and left click and left click, 0.25, hit enter. So the top of the cow catcher, the small home plate, I'm going to use a construction line and come from the origin and come down and click, type in 0.75. Now I can create a line from there to there. Hit escape, click a line from there to there. I'm going to zoom in and get rid of my construction line. So let's put our dimensions back on. So let's dimension from left click and left click and set that at 0.75. And then let's double check and let's make sure that half of this side is 0.6. So left click and left click and set that at 0.6 and it is and hit enter. So we have a 1.2 inch wide with a quarter inch shoulder uh, with a 0.75 long small home plate over the top home plate. So we will click on camera and click on isometric. So let's go back into the top. Let's get rid of what we don't need. So we don't need that. And I know we're deleting information that we just copied up, but it does help in construction techniques. So now we have the small home plate directly over the large home plate. We can accept that sketch. We can go to the loft command and it's asking us what profiles. So left click. So I want this profile and I want that profile. And now we have a complete solid. So we have lofted from the large home plate to the small home plate. And now we have a complete solid model and we're going to hit accept. So I'm gonna click on camera and render, click on isometric. I'm going to leave my planes there for just a little while. So now we're gonna to come to this face and left click, right click and new sketch. We're going to go to the line command and we're going to trace that face. So left click, left click, left click, left click, left click. We are, kind of, we are going to come to offset this face. We are going to bring our arrow in and double click on that dimension at 0 0.10 and hit enter. And we are going to accept that sketch. So now we are going to extrude and remove 0.05 of that face and click accept. I'm gonna hold my right mouse down so now that face is recessed 0 0.05 of an inch. So left click, right click, and new sketch. So I'm gonna come as parallel to that face as I can and go to the line command and left click, left click. Take time for your orange square to come up, left click. You have to zoom in, left click and left click. We're going to go to offset that surface 
we're going to bring this dimension in, type in 0 0.10, hit enter, accept that sketch, click on the green check mark. We're going to go to extrude and remove 0 0.05, that face, hit accept. I'm going to hold my right mouse click down so we have both of those faces, both, both of those trapezoidal faces recessed 0 0.05. So I'm going to click on camera and render, click on isometric. So now I'm going to turn off my planes, put those to sleep. And plane one, we can put that to sleep and click on isometric and bring that in. So now we're going to shell out the we're going to shell out the cow catcher. So we're going to come to the shell command and faces to remove. We want this face and we want point one and click accept. So now the cow catcher is hollow all the way around. So we will click on isometric. So the last thing we need to do is to turn this around and put the three pegs on the back. So we will come to the back view, left click, right click, and new sketch. We will go to center point circle. So let's use the center of our, op of our cow catcher from the origin and get that coincidence there and create a circle in the center, create a circle there, and create a circle there. So let's look at our dimensions. So from the very center up to the peg on the top, it is 0.5 inches. And then left and right is we're going left 0.625 or 5 eighths and then right we're coming back inch and a quarter and the distance from this sharp point here to the center is 0.275 so let's go put those pegs on and finish the cow catcher so we will go to dimension and left click and left click 0.125 and left click and left click 0.125 and left click and left click 0.125 we will dimension from the very center of the circle to the bottom of the cow catcher at 0.5 hit enter so it's fully constrained because we used the origin to come straight up to put the circle on originally. So now we will dimension from the center of this circle to the center of that circle, 1.25. And we will dimension from the bottom of the cow catcher to the center of that peg at Point one two five, and the bottom of there to that center of that peg at point one two five, because that is the specification on the front of the train. We will set a dimension from this sharp point, left click, and left click at point two seven five, and hit enter and we will zoom out. I'm going to hold my wheel down and pan over and let's check this side. Left click and left click at 0.275 hit enter. So it was gray letting us know that uh, it is symmetrical and or unnecessary so we can accept that sketch. We can go to extrude and we want to extrude this circle, that circle, and this circle. 
and we want to come out 0.125 and hit accept. Now we need to go to our chamfer command, chamfer. Let's look at the chamfer specification on the back of the cow catcher. So the chamfer specification is 0.01 inches by 45 degrees typical. So let's put those on. You do have a choice in the chamfer command to go equal distance, which creates a 45, create two separate distances, or put on a distance and specify an angle. Since we want a 45 degree, we want an equal distance. And we want that distance to be 0 0.01. And we will left click and left click and left click and zoom in and see that now we have created that 45 degree chamfer. We have broken that sharp edge and hit accept. So there are all three chamfers here and there and there, which just makes it um, a more safer feature. So we will zoom out and rotate around so there is the completion of our cow catcher so click on isometric so i'm going to left click right click and edit the appearance i want a i like orange so i'm going to accept that and let ladies and gentlemen completes the ninth 3d document for our train project now on to the assembly of the train and then engineering drawings. I hope you've enjoyed this portion of the train project. Now on to assembly and engineering drawings. Thank you.